there is the bigger issue we have been talking about the path to citizenship and we have been saying that one will be going to the Congress but there is a breaking news something which majority didn't expect this to come and special within democratic camp the house leadership uh, wants to keep path to citizenship out of the COVID relief package this is under Nancy Pelosi as a speaker and one among the big leaders of Democrats in the House that they want to remove or they are removing the path to citizenship out of the COVID relief package. And on the other side, there is a House Democrats, some of the House Democrats, about 100 of House Democrats are pushing for the path to citizenship to be included in the COVID relief bill. Why is this so important? Welcome everyone. Uh, this is EBM. In case today is your first time to come here, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, share the video, like it so that it can be able to, sh to be shared to other people. So let me go to this video and uh, straightforward give some uh, of what does it mean to, uh, to keep it inside that belief bill and to keep out what will be the impact of it the chances of being the the, the the chances of this one to go through to pass or not i explain in one of the video i'm going to put to, to link it here now uh and also after linking this video here i'm going to put on the description uh it says as follows the video is explaining will the uh, U.S. Citizenship Act of 2021 be voted yes and pass through the Congress. I explained the issue of how the issues are supposed to pass through the Congress from the House and also from the Senate. So this one goes to the same thing. The bigger issue will be on the Senate part. Because in Senate, there are 50 Republicans and there are 48 Repub Democrats plus two independent. So it's technically it's 50 50. Once you have 50 50, you expect the vice president to make a tie, to break a tie by voting. And the vice president is Democrat, Kamala Harris, so to be 51. But on the relief bill, relief bill is introduced. In the house is going to be into, voted in the house and it's going to be voted in the in the senate as budget reconciliation what does that mean in the budget reconciliation is just like small modification or small changes are going to put on the budget so for that particular case you only need is the simple majority votes the simple majority vote in Senate, it means because overall there are 100 senators. In case we didn't know, each state they have two senators. So, and we have said like 50-50. So in order to go for the simple majority, if one side, they have 51 votes, it will be going through. That is when you do the budget reconciliation. So for that case, the relief, COVID relief bill, COVID-19 relief bill or package will go through as budget modification. So you will need 51 votes so that it can pass it through. And that's why there are certain House Democrats are pushing for that path to citizenship to be included into the COVID relief bill because it will go as budget modification, budget uh, uh, adjustment or whatever you, you, you call it uh, so for that particular situation you only need 51 votes of Democrats which will be able to get to get to 50 of Democrats yes there are some senators they say they, they, they are still not sure if they can go and give more money and all other things but let's assume all Democrats will agree on that though in 2008 2010 the Democrats were the majority of House and the Senate. Five Democrat senators voted no to side with Republicans. So I just want to make sure you understand. Don't come here with the, being naive that because all Democrats all are going to accept. When you say I'm going to give 50, uh, 11 million people citizenship, people are looking on their, on their state. How does that is going to benefit their state? 
not all the time people will be looking for entire America. Is it going to affect our jobs? Is it going to give this opportunity? So someone will say, I'm going to vote no, so that you can go, because it, the problem of having a tie of 50-50, each vote of the senator in Democrats will be very important. You don't want to lose even one vote. So someone will come with the demands, I'm not going to vote for this one unless otherwise you pass something for my state. So we, we expect to have some of the Democrats going to be strong on their policies or not to vote for this particular situation until their demands are met. So that's why they want it to be when you do budget reconciliation, budget adjustment, you need a simple majority vote, which is 51 votes. But if Nancy Pelosi is going to remove the uh, to keep out to to to, to, to remove to, to 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 take the citizenship uh, path to citizenship out of the the relief package. What will happen is it will come a separate entity. It will come as a separate bill. If it comes as a separate bill in the Senate. You don't need 51 votes. You don't vote for a uh, simple majority. You will need 60 votes. So that means you have to get all 50 Democrats and 10 Republican, which I guarantee you that will not go through. So that's why I do not know why is going this way. I'm going to read some of the quotes from the uh, political. I'll put the newspaper uh, link here so that you can be able to go through what I'm saying. So in the political uh, newspaper it says, House leadership to keep a path to citizenship, uh, path to citizenship out of the COVID relief package. Immigration advocates have Immigration advocates have been hoping the relief bill will include the reform provisions. Because if you include the reform provision, you need the simple majority vote. And you don't need to have the complex process of 60 votes in the Senate. So that is how it is. So, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi does not plan to include a pathway to citizenship for undocumented essential workers, dreamers, and TPS temporarily protected status recipients as part of upcoming coronavirus relief package. Despite calls from Democrats and immigrants and immigrant advocates uh, to do so, it says as follows. President Biden proposed comprehensive immigration reform, which includes protections for frontline immigrant workers sep separate from his relief COVID plan, and we expect that to therefore have a separate consideration. House Democratic uh, Leadership Aid told the political on Monday. So they want to put it separate. So this is what uh, it, it says. Uh, House leadership uh, plans to keep pathway uh, citizenship are documented essential on a separate track. Uh, it's massive corona out of that pro out that process is going to be a blow for Democrats and immigrants advocates looking for immediate opportunity to to move to reform very very quickly because you need a simple majority vote. A group of 100 lawmakers led by Congressman Hispanic Caucus on Saturday they created the uh, signatures and everything to push for that, but we do not know if that will be able. To go through uh, so that is something we are waiting to hear and see if that one will be able to go through but overall if you separate if you go to separate this one from the leaf bill you need 60 votes in senate 50 from all the democrats remember i've been warning to everyone 2008 2009 2010 under biden as vice president and Barack Obama is the president in their administration, administration, they had the House, they had the Senate, they had the uh, presidents in the, the White House, but still the DACA and all other policies, they didn't go through immigration because five Democrats voted no into those kind of changes. So this one, don't be naive ever been saying, because you never know, because if we are 50-50, each Democrats will see their vote is very, very crucial, very important, so that I can make any demand to the president so that I can support my state. If you don't want to support my state, I'm going to vote no. So it will be a big war, big collision, big conflict within Democratic Party to go through these kind of 
uh, to go throughout this uh, to, to go throughout this one. Democrats in the House and the Senate have not formally introduced bills with Biden comprehensive immigration reform uh, reform plan. Senator Bob uh, Menendez from Democratic from New Jersey is the one, and Repub uh, Representative Linda Sanchez Demo uh, from Democratic from California are the one who are taking the uh, preparing the bill introduction to respective chambers. So Linda Sanchez will introduce it to the House, and the, uh, Bob uh, Menendez will introduce it to the Senate. But getting a bill through Congress is widely expected to be a difficult task given the 50-50 split in the Senate, meaning at least 10 Republicans would have to support the legislation. But if you put the, this relief bill, this, this one part of the relief bill will go as budget adjustment, budget reconciliation, budget whatever ch kind of changes, and it will go by the simple uh, majority, uh, the simple vote of 51 votes instead of going to get into 60 votes. So that will be something to work through and hope things will be able uh, to change. So I just want to make sure that you understand about the this push to the path to the citizenship uh, and how it's going to be debated and passed through the Congress, whether it will be part of the COVID-19 relief package or not. If it's not, is a big uh, situation where it will be a very big uh, situation. Uh, most of the Republicans will not vote for this one because it will be for them, majority of them, the argument is encouraging most illegal to come here. There are some they say we are okay with DACA, but we're not okay with the other people who are just illegal in other ways. But there are some people, even Democrats, they support. There are some they don't support. So we do not know. We'll see. Uh, how it will go about it, but I hope it will be a bipartisan to be able to go through or to have slight modification uh, and be able to be approved. So thank you so much everyone. Let me 